Good evening. Welcome to Cooking Conspiracy. Tonight we're doing a tuna melt. Your ingredients are going to be diced garlic, one clove, quarter cup of diced white onion, five olives diced, and a pat of cream cheese, a bit of black pepper, a little bit of cayenne pepper, lemon juice, and olive oil. And you're going to mix all that together, then you're going to put it on bread, top with cheddar cheese, and put the other piece of bread on top and toast it. It'll be good. Find a can of tuna you like and stick with it. Now, to do this, primarily you're going to do taste and smell. What you're going to see here is a sniff test. Give it a swipe, give it a sniff. Now, if it's tuna, that's good. That's what we have here. Proceed. It smells like chicken or something else is off. Abort mission. Abort. Alright, combine your ingredients. Have a tablespoon of olive oil. You can add the lemon juice now or later. Right, now mix that mixture up like you're tossing a salad or something. I mean, it is tuna after all. And here's your bread. You're going to want to get it in there nice and deep like all over the bread. Yeah, there you go. Get in there. Alright, put a little bit of cheese on both sides here. That's the way to go. Alright, now to place your tuna where it needs to go, we're going to use the two fork method. Not to be confused with the scissoring method. That's covered in depth in some other videos on the internet. I suggest you go look those up. But the two fork method gives you great control on where you place your tuna. Oh, piss. I almost forgot the lemon juice. But it's alright. It's fish. You can go on at the end. Now, uh, what you're about ready to witness is a technique I call the double team. You're gonna preheat both skillets here. You're gonna put your panini or tuna melt or whatever we're calling it in the pan. Alright, then you're gonna double team it or apply direct pressure, DP for short, with the other skillet. And sometimes when you're double teaming it here, you're gonna have to readjust positions to, uh, Get a good smash in. So you're just gonna adjust, smash, smash. Adjust, resume, smash, smash, smash. Now, be sure to pull it out before it's too late. 